Hi, this is Debbie Bateman reading from the You Look Good for Your Age anthology. I'm going to drop you into the middle of my short story called The Art of the Scarf. It's told from the point of view of Pauline, a 50-something woman, who is married to a firefighter and works as an admin assistant at the local college. Richard is her boss. I'll let you figure out the rest. When she opens her eyes, Richard is watching. His pale face is vulnerable, a mouse like whimper leaves his mouth. Too late, Teresa wishes she'd looked away. She sees herself as if from a distance, cannot believe what she has done, does not feel she dishonored herself. Because how can it be wrong to recover a vital part of yourself before it is too late? And yet she knows in her bones she has hurt this man naked beside her. Richard pats her thigh. She rolls away and looks at her wristwatch. We're late, she says, getting out of bed. Even before they left the office, she knew they'd be rushed to make it back on time for the faculty meeting. She's into her bra and panties before he leaves the bed. He only gets up after she started fixing her face. Leaning towards his dresser mirror, she begins to spread the cherry sparkle. She's not wearing her shirt. From where it rests on the table, her scarf offers no help. She's not at home, he's not her husband, and it's more than cleavage now. On the shiny surface of the mirror, her gaze creeps upward from her breast to her neck, where the skin sags and folds. She lifts her chin, and the results are worse. Her skin is a tent, and she's tightened the cords. She's only covered half of her upper lip when he turns the ceiling light on. Isn't that better? You can see yourself now.